Welcome to the first in a new series of videos where we create a full web application using Laravel Jetstream, Inertia.js, and Vue.js. We're gonna be using other technology along the way, but that's basically the gist of what we're gonna be using. So what we're gonna be making is a little web app that is a lead generation tool. These principles that we're gonna look at can be used to build virtually any sort of web application. It's just, I needed some sort of example to use, otherwise it would be difficult to kind of get the point across. You need a bit of context. Um, when it's all theory, it's always a bit, mm, don't really understand why you're doing something. But now we've got a bit of a focus, um, it will make a bit more sense. So this is what we're gonna be making. We're gonna be making this, which is a online estimator. So you can select your service, you can answer a few questions, go through it, and it basically gathers information um, and submits it to us, some information at the end. So if we can submit this, got the details there, submit it, submit it, and an instant estimate is emailed to us. So that's what it looks like on the front end. That's what the, the user is gonna be seeing. And this is what our back end admin looks like. So this is our Jetstream, uh, Laravel Jetstream application. So we've got the profile. Uh, we can do two-factor authentication, um, settings, uh, services, and whatever else we wanna put in there. So that's what we're gonna be creating, something similar to this. Not exactly the same as this. It's gonna be a simplified version of this but it's gonna have all the elements that you need to make something really good. So I'm just gonna have a quick look through everything we're gonna cover. So this is what we're gonna cover in the course. So the course, not really a course, it's just, just some YouTube videos, but anyway. So we're gonna be doing, as I said, a full Laravel Jetstream project using Inertia.js with Vue.js. So Vue.js is what we're gonna be using for our um, views on the front end. So we're going to be installing Laravel uh, with Laravel Jetstream and Inertia.js. We're going to be setting it up in our local environment. We're going to be creating user roles and permissions. We're going to seed the database with our admin user. Um, and then we're going to assign a default user to all new users that sign up. Uh, we're going to enable some of the Jetstream features that we want to use. So those are gonna be the two-factor authentication. We're gonna enable profile pictures so that our users can upload their logo to their profile. We're gonna enable API tokens, which is gonna be important because when our users on the end submit their details, we're gonna to need to have our API token so that it can access some information from our account within our Jetstream application. It will make sense when we do it. Uh, we're going to create some models uh, so we can add stuff to our database and retrieve it from our database. Um, that ties in with performing CRUD actions, which is create, read, update, and delete. So we're going to be doing some of that. We're going to validate the data that gets submitted to our application so that we know that we're keeping it safe and secure and we're going to prevent ourselves from getting hacked. Well as much as possible anyway. We're going to create some relationships on that data that we upload to our database. So users are gonna own certain bits of data and vice versa. Um, we're going to protect routes uh, based on our users' permissions. So we're gonna be doing that using middleware and policies, so Laravel policies. Um, we're gonna protect resources based on the user permission, doing the same thing, using middleware and policies, so that only specific users can update or create certain resources. Uh, it will make sense, I promise. We're going to set up Postmark uh, for sending emails. Um, that will make our application be able to do password resets, um, any sort of email functionality that we need. Won't just be relevant to Postmark if you wanna use a different mail server, uh, email server, service. It's the same stuff, same same logic. Uh, it'll just be inputting different API keys. Uh, we're gonna incorporate Stripe 
So we're gonna use Stripe Checkout for subscriptions. So we're gonna make it a paid service. Uh, we're gonna have an unpaid version and a paid version. And the paid users are gonna have access to more than the free users, uh, which is handy. We're going to set rate limiting on our API. Uh, and then we're going to increase that rate limit for paid users and we're going to have a standard rate limit for free users. We're then going to deploy the application to a live server and I'm going to show you how to do this using Laravel Forge and I'm also going to show you how to do it using Cloudways. So you've got the option of whichever you want to use. So that will be our backend as a fly. That will be our backend um, app setup and live. Uh, and then we're gonna this fly that's how you, and then we're gonna um, create a separate WordPress plugin that's gonna have a Vue.js app, which will have on our own website or the your customers' website, um, which will then interact with your Laravel web app. It will make sense, I promise, and that will be via the API that we've created on the Laravel Jetstream web app. And as a bonus at the end of this uh, video series, I'm gonna show you how to send emails on behalf of your clients. So when your clients are using your web app, their clients or potential customers will receive emails from their email address rather than your, as in the software as a service email address. So they'll look like it's a just better, just a better experience to receive emails from the actual website that you're submitting your data to rather than from a separate website that's providing a service to that website. Again, that will make sense. And as another bonus, I'm going to show you how to implement uh, payment by signing up to a mail list, um, mailing list. So I've done this on one of my websites, serviceareawizard.com. Uh, if you subscribe to the email mailing list you get more as in you it basically acts as payment so you get more um, service area checks so that's what we're going to do in this series of videos um, it's going to be a lot um, but hopefully we learn a lot um, I'm going to try and make the videos as concise and good as possible I don't want to waffle on too much probably done that already in this video waffled on too much but uh, you know it happens um so that's what we're going to do so first video coming up is going to be installing laravel with laravel jetstream and inertia js so i'll see you there in a moment